okay so we completed string operators the string comparison or uh, principles um, that is compared on the basis of lexicographical ordering and uppercase letters are considered smaller than the lowercase letters till that we have completed right now how to determine the ascii or unicode value of a single character there are two functions odd ORD and CHR. This ORD is used to return the ASCII value of a character. CHR is used to return the character corresponding to the ASCII value. Let's go through with an example. ORD within parenthesis the character. Within quotes it should be given character. So ORD of A means the ASCII value of the character A is 65 that will be displayed. Similarly, if you are giving the ASCII value of a particular character, that particular value ASCII value's character will be displayed. Okay, so that is CHR function. Again, CHR of 97 means the ASCII value 97 is given, the corresponding character is A, that will get displayed. For CHR of 100 means the corresponding value, uh, the character of the ASCII value will be uh, displayed, that is D. So ORD is used to return the ASCII value of a character and CHR is used to return the character corresponding to the ASCII value. <clears throat> Next one is string slicing. So what is string slicing? String slicing refers to a part of the string. For example, if the string is um, hello world, the part of the string is it can be hello or it can be world. Okay, that is known as string slicing. It, it refers to a part of the string. And strings are slide using a range of indices. You know the index, right? So for every string, the index starts with 0. Okay, so index starts with 0. 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Let's look at an example. ST is equal to computer science. Okay. So what is the index for the character C? 0. Then 1. Then 2. For M it is 2. P it is 3. U it is 4. T it is 5. And so on. It will go on. Now look at the first one. First statement. First print statement. Print ST of 2 colon 6. 2 is the starting index. 6 is the ending index. The ending index will not be included. Okay. Now 0, 1, 2. 2 starts with M. So M, 2, P is 3, U is 4, T is 5. 6 will not be included. So the output for this will be M, P, U, T. Okay. The next one is print ST of minus 9 colon minus 2. Uh, as you already know, st uh, strings will follow two types of indexing, forward indexing and backward indexing. Forward indexing starts from 0. Backward indexing starts from minus len. Uh, what is the length of this string? We will use, we'll be using the len function to calculate the length of a string, right? So for calculating the length, you should start from 1, not start, you should not start from the index 0, okay? Length should be calculated from starting from 1. So what is the length of the string? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so backward indexing starts from minus length. So this is minus 15, O is minus 14, minus 13, minus 12, minus 11, minus 10, till 0 it will go. Okay, uh, till minus 1. Okay, so forward indexing starts from 0, backward indexing starts from minus length. Now it is, uh, the second print statement is ST of minus 9 colon minus 2. That means minus 15, minus 14, minus 13, minus 12, minus 11, minus 10, minus 9. Okay, e minus 9 from E to minus 8, minus 7, 6, 5, 4, 3 till N. Minus 9 will not be, uh, minus 2 will not be included. Ending index will not be included. Okay, the next print statement is print ST of colon 5. The starting value is not given, ending value is given, right? So starting value, if it is not given, you have to start from the first character, first index. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, till U it will get displayed. The next print statement, ending index is not given, only the starting value is given. So starting from 8 till the end of the string will get 
display right the next one is print st of colon 4 plus st of 4 colon see starting index is not given ending index is given here starting index is given ending index is not given if you are concatenating two strings with specific uh, without with specifying only the ending index of the first string and the starting index of the second string and both have the same value then you will get the whole string as the output look at the next example also starting index is not given ending is minus 7 the next string starting is given both are equal then you will get the computer say so computer signs in the last example 20 colon 25 both the indexes are not present in the uh, string so you will get an empty string as the output so these are some of the examples of string slicing okay so slicing refers to a part of the string you have to specify the range in the range starting index will not will be included ending index element will not be included if the starting index is not specified it should start from the first character onwards if the ending index is not specified it have to will print till the end of the string right the next one string manipulation uh, that is triple quotes okay so what is the use of triple quotes we have studied in chapter uh, one itself it is used to create string with multiple lines look at the example uh, triple quotes I have given and I have given a text this course will introduce the learner to text mining and text manipulation basics the course begins with an understanding of how text is handled by Python there are four lines so this will be uh, this is possible using only triple quotes okay so it is used to create string with multiple lines now different functions and methods we are using with strings string dot capitalize it is used to capitalize the string that means the first character of a string will be capitalized string dot find sub means it will find the substring of a position now is al num means string can it will check whether the string consists only of alpha numeric characters so these things is al num is alpha is lower all these things will return either true or false uh, is alphabet it will check whether it consists of only alphabetic characters is lower it will check whether all the um, characters are in lower case then is numeric it will check only for numeric characters is space it's check only the string consists of white space characters is in title case means is title means it will check the first character is capital is upper it will check whether uh, strings alphabetic characters are all upper case l strip R strip means returns a copy of the string with leading and trailing characters removed. L means left hand side characters will be removed. R means right hand side characters will be removed. And string dot lower means it convert to lower case. String dot upper means it converts to upper case. Let's see some one or two examples. I'm giving str is equal to computer. I'm getting checking str dot is lower it is giving false because only the first character is in uh, uh, is lower means it, should, it will check whether all the characters are in lower case but first character here it is upper case so it is giving us false now I'm giving str dot is it is giving true alphabets it can be a combination of alphabets or numbers so it is a combination of alphabets okay now str dot 2 will come in c plus plus okay so it will convert all the characters to capital letters okay so this is how you have to uh, check the functions so we have studied many functions capitalize find is alnum is alpha is lower is numeric is space is title is upper all these things we have covered in chapter uh, i mean class 11 itself if you have the textbook of grade 11 please go through all these functions with examples